Good morning, Neighborhood Church, and welcome to Read Scripture, where we start off each day by reading the Bible together online. This week, we're going to explore various passages throughout the Bible that teach about the Holy Spirit. Now, there's a lot of opinions out there about the Spirit of God, so you might be wondering, what is or who is the Holy Spirit? What's the purpose? How does the Holy Spirit help us follow Jesus and become the best version of ourselves? What about the spiritual gifts? What about spiritual fruit? What about all these other spiritual things we hear about in the church? These are the things we're going to investigate and explore through scripture this week. And first things first, I thought it would be helpful to answer that first question. What, or who rather, is the Holy Spirit? Let's see what Jesus had to say. John was a close disciple of Jesus, and he wrote a biography about him we find in the New Testament. In this book of John, chapter 14, verses 15 through 16, Jesus said this to his followers. If you love me, keep my commands, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. If you're familiar at all with the Old Testament, you'll know that there were countless rules, rituals, and sacrifices required in order for humanity to experience God's spiritual presence. But when Jesus came, he bridged the gap between God and mankind. And now in the scripture, Jesus is saying that God's Spirit is freely available. Through Jesus, the Holy Spirit now lives with us and in us. Through Jesus, we're able to personally experience and and collaborate with the God of the entire universe. No rituals, no sacrifices, just a one-on-one relationship freely available to us 24-7. Let me ask you this, who's your personal hero? Is it a a certain athlete or musician? Is it an author or artist? Imagine that that hero approached you and said, hey, here's my personal cell phone number. I want you to put it on your speed dial and just hit me up anytime, 24 seven. Could you imagine that type of access? You'd be texting them all day long. It's a simplistic analogy, but listen, I think that's pretty much what it's like to live with God's spirit inside of you. Through Jesus and the Holy Spirit, we have 24-7 access, a daily relationship with the creator of the universe, a relationship that will absolutely change your life forever. Hey, stick around this week for Read Scripture, because we're going to continue to explore what it looks like to live a life empowered by the Holy Spirit.